What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. We have Hurricane Tammy continuing to bear down on the Leeward Islands. We also have this area of interest over here off the coast of Nicaragua that is gradually but steadily organizing and developing as we continue to speak. We have a lot of stuff we need to cover for you today. So with that being said, let's, said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Here's what we have. This is Hurricane Tammy as of right now. Maximum stained winds are now up to 85 miles per hour. Minimum central pressure is 988 millibars. The current location is 16.6 degrees north, 61.2 degrees west. And it's currently moving northwest at 8 miles per hour. If we go ahead and show you the cone right there. Hurricane warnings are still in effect <clears throat> from Guadalupe all the way to much the lesser and much of the Leeward Islands up here. We can go ahead and give you the full list right here. Hurricane warning is in a, uh, is, is, remains in effect for Guadalupe, Antigua, Barbuda, Montserrat, St. Kitts, uh, Navis, and Anguilla, St. Martin, St. Martin, and St. Mar Barthelemy, which are the French islands over there. Same with Guadalupe as well. Hurricane watch is in effect for Sabe and St. Asteris. A tropical storm warning is in effect for the same islands. A tropical storm watch is in effect for Martinique and the British Virgin Islands as of right now. So here's the situation. Hurricane force winds extend out 25 miles from the center, and tropical storm force winds extend out 125 miles from the center. Uh, Tammy very near Guadeloupe and Antigua. Uh, and Antigua. Strong winds and heavy rain spreading across portions of the Leeward Islands. If we go ahead and show you the archives, we can kind of give you an understanding of what's been going on over the last 24 hours. Uh, it is, yeah, hurricane warnings were in a, uh, were quickly issued. Here's what we are at at 5 p.m., 75 miles per, uh, per hour. Then around 11 p.m., uh, we were at eight. Uh, then we were at 80 and passing just east of Marti uh, Martinique. And then we're at 5 a.m. And Tammy turns northwestward uh, to the east of Do uh, Dominica. Hurricane conditions and heavy rainfall expected. Still an 80 mile per hour hurricane. And then at 11 o'clock uh, uh, this morning, 85 miles per hour, pressure of 9, uh, 98, uh, 988 millibars. So this is a mid range category one hurricane at this current time. And this is definitely something we need to pay attention to right here. So here's what we have. Actually, let's go ahead and go back to the graphics. Here's the. A potential rainfall uh, rainfall for at least a little bit. For the U.S. Virgin Islands, we're expecting four to six inches in some of these uh, areas. We're in Puerto Rico, two to four inches from Tammy as of right there. So it could potentially lead to some flash flooding happening in that general area. And now we'll go ahead and show you the discussion we have right here. The hurricane has turned to the right over the past several hours, and the initial motion is now northwestward at 7 knots. A continued northwestward motion is expected during the next 12 to 24 hours, taking the core of Tammy over or just east of the Leeward Islands during that time. After the hurricane clears the island, a turn to the north seems likely while the system moves in the flow between a ridge in the central Atlantic and a large trough over the western Atlantic over uh, over there uh, as Tammy will likely fluctuate in its strength over the next few days it is expected to become a 90 mile per hour category one hurricane in the next 24 hours before finally starting to weaken about four days out so that's what we have going on we can go ahead and now show you the track models over here track models very consistent for the next 48 hours of this thing impacting the Antilles and Guadalupe at least for the next 36 hours before finally starting to move out to sea however from there the models completely split some of the models have it pushing a little bit further to the east others have it doing that but then taking a hard turn to the west which we'll have to see how that plays out but either way if you're in bermuda you have to keep a very close eye on this because this does look like a potential threat for your area over there so that's the situation we have with the track models intensity models majority of them are keeping it around category one or category two strength as of right now the current strengthening strength is 75 knots or 85 miles per hour according to tropical tidbits and the nhc for that fact the models are 50 50 between category one or category two strength at some point in its life we still have some models getting up to major hurricane strength sooner rather than later so we will have to see how that all plays out but this isn't the only threat i am paying attention to with tammy i'm also paying attention to this area of interest over here 20 percent chance of formation in the next seven days a broad area of low pressure located over the southwestern caribbean sea continues to produce disorganized showers and thunderstorms some slow development of the system is possible before it moves inland over Central America by late Monday. 
Formation chance of the next 48 hours is 20%. Formation chance of the next seven out, uh, days is 20%. It was 0 and 20 when we reported it last here on the Pat's Path Predictor channel. So, ladies and gentlemen, hurricane season is not over just quite yet. We still have a lot to cover here. We still have a lot of models to show you. But before we get into that, and as we continue to get into this active weather period over here, be sure to check out my friends over at Prestige Weather Consulting. They do individual one-on-one -on -one weather consulting catered to your local area. For more information, Information, be sure to check them out in the link in the description down below and be sure to use the code PREDICTOR for 50% off your first month. But with that being said, folks, let's go ahead and get to the models. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open the model runs with this disclaimer because the models are showing these systems weaker than they already are, especially with Tammy. However, for the sake of this exercise, we're going to be mainly looking at the models in the context of track and not intensity, since intensity, we can now cast that stuff. Matter of fact, uh, Hurricane Hunter recon, uh, recon should be out in Tammy. Yeah, they're out in Tammy as of right now, so we'll have to see what they find as time continues to pro uh, progress. So with that, being, uh, with that being said, we'll go ahead and really get to the models, and we'll kind of give you a more of a track understanding than intensity understanding according to all these models because the tr they're a lot better with track than they are with intensity. So here's the situation we have the European. Europeans having this thing moving very either uh, either very close to or making landfall in much of the lesser Antilles over here. And, and even into the Leeward Islands near Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts, and all those areas right there. This could be bringing some serious impacts and maybe a couple of landfalls over there as time continues to progress. And then it is expected to forecast, forecast to move out to sea. Out right there. However, the Europeans been pretty interesting. It's actually having it kind of moving and not exactly. It's not exactly moving or anything. It's actually stalling out here in the Atlantic. Uh, not, uh, the steering currents appear to have collapsed completely, and this continues for like uh, for several days. This continues for uh, I'd say what is this like three of uh, three to four days. So that's pretty interesting right uh, right there. So that's what we have with the European with, uh, model with Tammy right there. Next model we're going to go ahead and show you is the GFS. Now, I do not exactly trust the GFS. The GFS has not been the most reliable since the uh, since really Tammy started. It had the system originally pushing further and further to the east instead of uh, where it's going right now. So I don't exactly trust the GFS that much. With that being said, I am going to show that just to give an understanding of what we're looking at compared to the European and the other model runs. The GFS is not that far off from the European for now, for the next 24 hours, except that it's just a little bit further to the east, maybe sparing a lot of these islands of hurricane force conditions, unlike what we've been seeing in Guadeloupe, unlike what we've been seeing with Dominica, unlike what we've been seeing with a lot of these islands uh, in, the, in the Lesser Antilles areas right there. So with that being said, we're going to continue running this and kind of focus on more of the long-term track. The GFS is more, more mainly keeping this thing out to sea. However, it is pushing a little bit further to the west, which is pretty interesting. and could bring some impacts to Bermuda. And then it just completely do, does a uh, like a 270, not a 270, a 180, and then just starts turning to the east. Yeah, I okay, I don't trust the GFS with this at all. Primarily because just of how wavy and how wonky this whole thing is going. It's having Tammy just meander out in the Gulf, uh, not in the Gulf, but in the Atlantic Ocean, just like going back and forth, going like. In order for that to happen, you need the complete collapse of the steering currents. I'm just showing you, you this model to get, get a laugh out of this because I find this very hilarious, honestly, because of just how these uh, these GFS model runs can really spark their imagination sometimes. So that's the GFS. Next thing we're showing you is the CMC model. CMC's been pretty interesting, to say the very least. It's been one of the more consistent models, although the CMC has been uh, has, is a bit weaker uh, strength-wise, but we are not focusing on that. We're focusing on the track of this. And the CMC is kind of just kind of meandering out in the Atlantic Ocean, moving to the west, and then bring some impacts to Bermuda while kind of just stagnating and disorganizing and weakening at that current point. However, the CMC is also showing something interesting that I, I'm seeing play out. Let's go ahead and go to the central. Let's go ahead and go to the tropical Atlantic over here. The CMC is showing a low pressure system starting to develop a little bit, a little bit east of the of the Antilles right here, and then it really starts to get its act together, 
as it enters the Caribbean Sea. Keep in mind, by the time this thing does start to develop, we're about, what, five days out? So we'll have to keep an eye on it, but at the same time right now, I wouldn't pay too much attention to it just yet because by the time it affects any land, it's going to be, like, what, six and a half days out? So... Yeah, I wouldn't worry too much, but if you are in the Windward Islands, if you are in Trinidad and Tobago, if you are in any of those islands south of Dominica, you guys need to pay attention to this just in case a flooding threat does occur. So that's what we have going on with the CMC model right here. Next thing we're going to go ahead and show you is the nav gem. We haven't showed this in the last couple of days, but I figured we're gonna, we should show it now just to get a better understanding of what may be happening, what may not be happening. So here's the nav gem model as of right here. Nav gem sh showing Tammy just moving very close to the Antilles and strengthening. Well, the nav gem is a little bit off when it comes to the intensity, but we're not focusing on that too much. But it is going to be bringing lots of impacts potentially to Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and a still much of less the Leeward Islands and all those areas right there before moving out to sea and moving further to the east and then just kind of taking a normal track and just leaving it from there 180 hours out. The CMC is also uh, was kind of paying attention to this area over here. However, they're not really developing it, so I'm not particularly that concerned about it. However, uh, I am, what I am a little interested in is the nav gym, what they have to say with this whole Central American system going on. It does show potential development as it gets closer to Nicaragua. However, it's not going to be particularly that much, just um, that much. And the only thing I see, unless this thing really rapidly organizes, is a potential flood threat and maybe some gusty winds for those of you who are tuning in from Nicaragua and Costa Rica. Other than that, it's not going to be that big of a threat, but I do. I do anticipate some stuff to be going on in Central America. Last model we're showing you, ladies and gentlemen, is the Icon right here. Icon model's been pretty consistent, similar to the CMC. Icon is showing a lot of landfalls, actually, in the Antilles from Tammy before moving out to sea and then kind of just uh, staying there for a little bit and then finally starting to slowly move off and then get pushed further to the west, similar to how the European was. And the Icon's pretty interesting, to say at the very least, because the Icon is kind of taking a bit, a bit of a pretty big turn right here and heading for the Bahamas about 180 hours out. Keep in mind... It's still a week out. We don't know if it's going to happen, but it is looking pretty interesting to say at the very least. And as of right here, the icon is showing this development as uh, as this area of interest off of Central America heads ne uh, to Nicaragua right there. A little bit stronger than what the, the nav gem and some of the other models have been really calling for. So that's definitely something to pay attention to down the road. And we'll keep you updated here on the Pat's Path Predictor channel. But with that being said, we're closing the video out right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps us out, helps us make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe.